Okay guys, so this was uh, something that I was expecting to do a video on, however I've been trying to think of how to talk about these two subjects and I think that this is the best way. So apologize for the kind of impromptu video here in the truck, but I feel that it's something that I need to talk about and it's something that's very important and that is two things, the coronavirus or COVID-19 and gun control. <laughs> now if you guys know anything about my channel, I do use a lot of firearms, I do a lot with guns, gear, and all that fun stuff. And so it should come as no surprise that I do keep my mind very, or I keep my eye on everything kind of going on. However, I've noticed an issue here of late, and that is the coronavirus. And I'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys about it. There's better and more qualified individuals already on YouTube that have talked about it. I think Dr. Mike that YouTube channel, or Mike himself, is a great resource to look at if you guys are looking at more information. However, I will say it seems to be so far from what we understand in the medical world that the COVID-19 isn't as serious as a threat, or as serious a threat as it was originally made to be. And understand that there are certainly more deadly things that have already passed through humanity. Things like the Black Plague, Spanish Flu, are extremely many times more deadly than this coronavirus. So for those people who are very fearful of it, it is certainly something that is getting a lot of traction. It has become a pandemic, but it's not a deadly pandemic. A pandemic really doesn't speak to the mortality rate of a disease or a virus. It just speaks to the transmission of a virus. So guys, I wouldn't get too concerned about it. However, the reason why I'm talking about this is I've noticed there's an issue that's building, and that is that our social media and our media at large, the industry as a whole, is using COVID-19 as a kind of social blanket to cover actions that are being perpetrated against us pro 2A, you know, freedom-loving individuals. And what I really want to talk about is that regardless to any disease that comes through the human mankind as a whole, they have all passed, and so will COVID-19. Regardless to how many people it infects or kills, it's going to pass through us just as every other illness has. So what I want to help you guys understand is that COVID-19 is very fleeting. It will be here today, gone tomorrow. But what isn't as fleeting is the anti-gun laws that are being pushed through in almost, if not every state, including Alaska with House Bill 62. Now, this isn't just a direct plug, but I do want to inform you guys and really make sure that you guys are keeping steady track of what's going on in your states as it relates to guns. Because like I said, I believe all 50 states, if not at least most of them, are under attack thanks to Michael Bloomberg, who has bought out uh, Democratic politicians. Like I said, every state is falling victim to it. And what's essentially happening is, with this really big scare of the COVID-19, us, we the people, are losing track of what's going on in our states, we're losing awareness, and what we're not doing is focusing on those laws, because in the end, f two, three, five years from now, the COVID-19 virus will be gone, and it really won't be an issue. However, if we lose track of our laws, they will be in place, and most of these anti-gun laws take years to repeal if they ever do get repealed. So guys, keep a really steady eye on what's going on in your states. Don't let any virus or any kind of shock tactics that the left or that social media or media, the media industry as a whole is bringing up. Guys, just don't pay attention to it or don't pay as much attention to it. You shouldn't be blissfully unaware of what's going on with the pandemic because it is real, but so are the anti-gun laws being passed or attempting to being passed in each state right now. So just understand that those laws that they're trying to pass are not as temporary as virus and the damage that they can do to the pro 2A community is larger than what this virus can do to us right now.
so guys, that's the core of my uh, kind of spiel. I don't have anything amazing or any crazy facts to bring up with you. Like I said, I'll probably leave a link in the description below where you can check out Dr. Mike's videos. He has almost every Wednesday a video out on COVID-19 if you really want to learn more about it. But once again, make sure that you're finding out what kind of policies are being pushed through your state, that you contact your representatives. I've contacted my local representatives, and luckily here in Fairbanks, we don't have too much to worry because our representatives are very pro-2A, but in Anchorage, they're not as pro-2A as Fairbanks. And so even with my state, like I said, it's under attack. You wouldn't think Alaska would be under attack because of its being Alaska. You know, we're very gun-friendly here. But once again, money speaks volumes. And if nothing else, even if you've contacted your representatives, guys, keep note of who is selling out to Bloomberg, who is being bought up by Bloomberg. Because I'm here to tell you there's people on the right and there are people on the left that are getting bought up. And what we need to be doing is take careful note of the people who Bloomberg is buying because when it comes election time, when election time rolls around in your state, make sure that those people are voted out, that you are keeping track saying, hey, that person, they sold out to Bloomberg. So when it comes time to vote, you vote them out, guys. We do not need people in our states in any form of po political power that is willing to sacrifice the rights of their people who they represent just for a little bit of money. These people make more than enough money. They don't need more. And now it's the people who are true sellouts are now showing very clearly. So like I said, keep that in mind and be cautious of who we elect next go around and who we get out next go around. So anyways, guys, hopefully this has been informative. Like I said, this is what I really want to talk about is the gun laws that are being passed or attempting to being passed in each of our states and how the media industry at large is using COVID-19 and the hysteria being caused by COVID-19 to push their own agendas. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully it's been informative. And as always, God bless and I'm out.